Oh my goodness, the tree on the house, yeah, looked horrible. So glad that nice man and his wife were not hurt. And residents in Orangeburg are being asked to be patient as emergency services go around and get the lights secured and get the trees and debris off of the ground. So be patient. Yeah, so the question is, with the damage in Orangeburg being attributed to a microburst, this may have for some of you wondering if this is the first time you've heard this, which if you've lived in South Carolina for a while, it probably isn't right, the first time right. you've heard this. But some of you may be asking what exactly is a microburst? Yeah, and what is the difference between that and a tornado? Because obviously that damage looks very bad. News 19's meteorologist Daniel Bonds explains. A microburst is a localized column of sinking air in a thunderstorm. They can cause extensive damage and be life threatening. Here's how they form. You have the thunderstorm here, then dry air moving in, evaporative cooling, that cooler air starts to fall and it accelerates downward. So as it continues to move downward, it accelerates. The air hits the ground and is forced outward, and that's when you have the damage. And you can have winds up to 150 miles per hour, really over a small area, maybe even up to about two miles or so. Sometimes you'll have this damage and it'll appear to be tornadic, but it is actually coming from a microburst. Now there are two primary types of microbursts a dry microburst and a wet microburst. For us here in the southeast, and especially during the summertime, the wet microburst is the most common type. Reporting in the studio, I'm Daniel Bonds, News 19, WLTX.